For those of you who know me, you know that ever since I have ran for political office, um, some offices bigger than this, I've consistently made the statement over and over that I believe in term limits. And I have repeatedly said that in a situation like in this office and with the U.S. Senate race, um, that, that, uh, that I believe in term limits and I believe that people should serve no more than two terms. But that brings us to the present challenge of where we are at today. And that is that our crime pattern in Shawnee County, as we have seen it over the last eight years, has, has changed. We have, with our partnership with our law enforcement agencies, we've been able to beat back our gang violence. We've been able to lower uh, our, our anticipated homicide count um, over the last several years. But what we're seeing every day is more and more uh, sexually violent crimes against children. And with the, with the, literally the tip of the iceberg being exposed right now on the human trafficking issue, that is really going to be the challenge uh, that we are going to have moving forward. And what I, want to, what I want to convey and what I want everyone to know is that whoever the next district attorney is, uh, I'm going to be very willing and able and uh, more than happy to work with them to make the transition from my administration into their administration as seamless as possible and as seamless as it can be because that's what the citizens of Shawnee County deserve. Um, I remember in the Senate race I got to know Congressman Dennis Moore really, really well in, in that process and he and I had talked about the impact and the toll that, that, that dealing with the level of human misery that you have to in an office like this every day, uh, it, 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 it affects you and it has an impact on you. And one of the things that Dennis always joked about is he said, Chad, he goes, one of the things you have to understand is being district attorney isn't a life sentence. And I agree with that. And I believe that it is time for someone else to step up to accept the mantle and to carry the baton forward for public safety uh, in Shawnee County. Uh, I want to say a couple of thank yous because I think it is uh, important to thank the people who have made this administration as successful as it has. Um, probably in, 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 in no particular order, but all equally as important, uh, have been my Chief Deputy Jackie Spratt. Um When I hired her, uh, I'd never met her, sight unseen. and. She really changed the tempo. She changed the tenor of how cases were prosecuted in Shawnee County. And Jackie, I'll forever be grateful for that. Uh, Kathy Beach has been my uh, assistant for, for, uh, for eight years now and has done just a, a remarkable, remarkable job of making sure I'm where I'm supposed to be, when I'm supposed to be there, and I don't have to catch up on the tie, or, you know, I, I, I actually my suit jacket matches my pants. So it's uh, in running that day-to-day -day life of being a busy elected official as well as being a public figure as well as running the largest law firm in Northeast Kansas. I want to say thank you for that. And lastly, I want to thank Matt Patterson who has been a trusted advisor to me uh, since the day that, that he came to work here and being able to help guide me through a lot of the day-to-day -day management issues because of the background that he had in, uh, in labor law. So in closing, I will tell you, so you don't have to ask, I have no idea what I'm doing next. Um, all I know is, is that it's time for the transition to take place for me not to do this uh, any longer. Uh, I'm excited about it. I'm excited to see um, the level to which the next person can take the office. And uh, lastly, I wanted to let everybody know so I don't get 20 phone calls from other elected officials. Uh, the balance of my campaign funds uh, for my DA's race will be donated to the Topeka Rescue Mission so that Barry Feeker uh, can use that money in, uh, in, in helping to, uh, helping to uh, facilitate the protection and the services that the trafficking victims are going to need. So lastly, thank you to Barry Feeker, who has been a uh, phenomenal, phenomenal partner uh, in public safety as well as, as an all-around great guy because, um, like I said, if it weren't for, for Barry Feeker and, and the commitment of, the, of him and the folks at the Topeka Rescue Mission, um, we would not be in the posture that we are to take the fight to the animals who are doing these horrible things in our community. So lastly, thanks to all of you. Um, we've had a great relationship with the media over the last eight years. Um, I've gotten to know the vast majority of you. Uh, most of you I consider friends. And there were a lot of nights and a lot of times to where we really needed your help 
to get the message out to get a dangerous person in our community located. And I'm grateful that you are our partners in getting that done. So with that being said, I'm going to start my weekend. Uh, and that's where I'm at. So thank you all very much and have a good day.